Hello YouTube, it's Richard Pierce. So today I'm going to talk about uh, body image. Um, I think we all uh, suffer that a little bit, you know, um, dealing with our own images. I think it's hard not to, you know. It's human nature to question whether you're good enough at something, whether you're good enough to be loved. Body image has a lot to do with that too. So. I'm making this video today to talk about body image, um, how it can be, um, but yeah, so, I said in my coming out video, I would do a video uh, about my anorexia as a kid, an eating disorder, um, when I was in middle school and high school, I starved myself for about four years, for four years, about four to five years, and, um, at the time, I wanted to fit in, I wanted to be popular, and I was in theater, and I wanted people to like me, and, uh, what happened is somebody told me that I was fat and ugly, and that I could never be a leading man, or ever be accepted, and I really thought that I was, you know? I thought I really wasn't cool, and that I was stupid, and I was ugly. And so, yeah, I uh, started starving myself. And, um, I mean, I don't look like I starve myself now. My body type, most of my family's big. So, it's not natural for me to be thin. It's just not my body type. Um, but I did, for four years, starve myself. I think the lowest weight I got to was 94 pounds. And, um... I think that was junior year of high school, maybe sophomore year, around there. And um, that's when I stopped. Uh, something inside of me triggered and went, stop this. You don't need to justify yourself for anyone. Love yourself. People are going to judge you at any body size, at any weight. But true beauty is what is within, and that shines out. I've come to realize that I'm a handsome man. I have a beautiful face and I don't care if somebody doesn't see it. Because I see it in myself. Body image is... We live in a, a society that tells us that we need to be a size this or a size that or dress this way or act this way. When in truth, all we've got to do is be ourselves. The rest of it works itself out. You don't have to change who you are for anyone. I mean, like the Christina Aguilera song says, you're beautiful no matter what they say. A generation that believes that that being super beautiful is is more important than being good. But that's not true. You don't have to be super beautiful. You can just be you. If people don't like how you are, cool. Let them. Let them say what they want to say. Just drown it out. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what they think of you. It doesn't matter what they see or how they feel. It's on you, honey. It's on you. And like, like, it, like, if you love yourself, that's the most important thing in the world. Because at the end of the day, what somebody thinks of you doesn't amount to much. It's what you feel of yourself. What you fulfill in you and how you feel when you do you. But of course, I'm going to go back into the story now about my anorexia and how it started. Because I think that that might be what will make a good video for this. I was in ninth or 10th grade, and um, I think it, I started starting myself around 7th. And I stopped around 10th, I believe. Um, what happened is, I was just a serious person, just serious about doing theater and acting and music and I wanted to be attractive I wanted to feel beautiful because somebody told me I wasn't and I wanted to be you know their idea of attractive their idea of, of, of social norms and the social idea of what I was supposed to be instead of being myself instead of being happy for me I went and did that and I started myself for quite a while and I, I got down to like 90 pounds and then stopped. Um, I never had to go to any clinics or anything, I just quit. But the thing is, my body image was so 
so defined by that at the time that it was weird. Um, and now I'm overweight. And you know, it's weird. People are going to take this as a weird body image. But I believe that I'm more happy now that I'm overweight than I was when I was thin. I actually like my body better. I like me better. And I'm not perfect. Like, no one is. But I found my confidence in me. And I guess that's the importance to body image. You have to be confident in you. No one else is going to like you. No one else is going to see you as you. And really, honestly, most people are going to have their criticisms about you. But if you love yourself, you're going to do well in life. Because really, all honesty, that's all life's about is loving who you are and doing you. The rest of the world, it's not going to matter what people see or think. Just do you. Anyways, I think this video is probably drawn out, and I feel like uh, there's not much I can say about it, but um, I will say this. It's a sad world when uh, young girls and guys have to feel the need to change themselves, to fit a mold of society's viewpoints. Look, we're not all built to look the same. We're not all designed to look the same. We're not all the same. I'm short and stubby, and that's just my look, okay? Somebody might be tall, there's muscular, there's chubby, there's skinny, there's everything, and we curvy, and we should love all body types. Because honestly, there's beauty in every size, and every person is beautiful in their own unique and wonderful ways. It isn't just skin deep. The most beautiful people are the ones that we never really see in magazines people that give their life or try to do something to change the world, those are beautiful people. It's time that we see beauty within one another and stop with uh, looking at people just to look at people, you know? Just to, you know, it's time we should start accepting one another because we all have flaws. But the moment we stop telling everyone how to look, body image will change for people. And maybe things like BDD, body dysmorphic disorder, will end. Anorexia, bulimia. Maybe we'll stop having people feeling unloved and unwanted. If we stop judging people for what they can't change. I think that that would be a better world for all of us. A much more powerful world if we just started caring about the inside of someone instead of the way that they look on the outside. Because frankly, the outside's going to age, it's going to change, and if all we did was love the outside, then we're behind in what we need to really love. This has been Richard Pierce, and this is another blog, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Goodbye, YouTube. See you when I see you, and my next video will probably be Sunday. Because I'm going to try to keep up with the Sunday video thing. Every week. And the next one is possibly going to be the boyfriend tag. With my boyfriend. So, see you then. And keep it good. Later.